Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran. I have an exciting news about the world of AI in software development. Today we are going to be exploring a revolutionary new tool called OpenAI ChatGPT which allows AI to write code in real time. I'll be using a programming language Python for this demonstration, but OpenAI ChatGPT is compatible with a variety of programming languages. This is not only good in programming but can generate essays, stories, poems, ideas, etc. To give you a sense of the capabilities of OpenAI ChatGPT, I'm going to be demonstrating it with a few different examples. So to access ChatGPT, you can use this URL. The link is in the description below. So first we are going to give a simple task to ChatGPT to generate a Python code to calculate the average of few numbers given by the user. I'm going to tell it to generate Python program to calculate the average of numbers given by the user. And now you can see that it is generating the code for the program which we have just asked. You can also see that it explains the code too and it also shows the functions and the code used to create this program. Now I'm going to scroll above and click on copy code. Next let's go to the Python IDE which I'm going to use. Over here I'm using PyCharm and next I'm going to copy the whole code and paste it over here. You can see all the code to calculate the average of numbers and now I'm, I'm just going to click on run. Over here you can see the program so I'm going to enter a number 2 like this. Next again you can put lots of numbers, a list of numbers like this. Next after you have finished entering the numbers you can put done to stop and now you can see that it shows the average of the numbers. Chat GPT can also be used to correct the errors in your program or in your code. So now I'm going to purposefully create an error over here. So you can see that the numbers variable has a list inside it. But instead of a list, I'm going to put a tuple. Now when I run the program and enter some number like this, you can see that it shows an error. So I'm going to copy this whole program and go to chat GPT. And I'm going to enter find error and paste the whole code like this. Now you can see that it is correcting the code. Now you can see that it shows the, mi the mistake. So you can see that it shows the line creates an em empty tuple and not a list. So for the list you should use the square brackets but you can see that we have used this brackets and which is a tuple. So it finds the mistake or the error in the code and it also tells us what to do. Also it generates the whole code again which we can copy and we can go to our IDE and we can paste it over here. Now when we run our program and enter the numbers and click on um, and enter done you can see that it shows the average and there is no error generated in the program so as i said before this can also be used to generate ideas so i'm going to generate app ideas using chat gpt so i'm going to tell it to generate app ideas related to productivity and now you can see that it gives a list of the ideas for the productivity apps you can see that it has generated loads of ideas which we can use so now i'm going to tell it to give an app name for the first idea so I can just put give app name for the first idea and over here you can see that it has provided us a lot of names which we can use for our app now to create the app again you can tell generate python code to create this now you can see that it has generated the whole python code for the sample app for the simple task management app so over here you can see that we have lots of functions python functions using which the it can add tasks, remove tasks and it, it can also sort them. So now you can see that this is just a sample one but I can just tell it to generate a code where the user will enter the tasks and it will save the tasks. So it's like a to-do app. So over here it, it has just hard coded the tasks but we can make it to get the user input and store them. Now you can see that it has generated the whole code for it. I can just copy this and go to the IDE and then paste it. Now you can see that when I run it shows the, it tells us to enter the name of the task. I'm just going to put create an app and I'll put Y to add more of them. So I'm going to put another task and now I'll put N. Next you can see that it shows the tasks. So after I complete one task, let's say writing homework, I can just put the index which is 1 and you can see that over here it has put completed like this. And then now I can put Q to quit the app like this. But as of now, this AI cannot do complex tasks or programming which has lots of logic to it. So if you want to create complex apps free and easily, you can use a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and you don't need to have any programming knowledge. So in my channel, I have created a lot of videos on how you can use that. 
and you can create lots of apps like chat app, social media app, voice assistant etc using this MIT App Inventor in just few minutes. So to learn about MIT App Inventor click on this playlist and make sure to subscribe.